Oh, fantastic. Kinetic shot here. It feels like the finale to like a, a, a very epic scene in a film. Like all the characters going through their struggle, answering the call, rising up. Is a polar, is, are these guys character? Is that guy a character in the game? So this is clearly not the studio that did Arcane. Oh my God, the expressions. The champions answering the call. Oh my God, that just gave me chills. That just gave me actual chills. If we look at all these first shots and then we go to the last shots of these guys, look at this just like full circle, like this heroic cycle that they all go through. This character, I forget her name. She's she's in uh, she's in KDA. What the heck is her name? Now we have a seamless three points of switching subjects in this shot from like background to foreground. So look at this. Hello, my name is Philip. I'm a filmmaker, and today we're going to be watching and reacting to The Call, season 2022 cinematic League of Legends, and analyzing the cinematic language. We've gone over a lot of League of Legends and reacted to a lot of League of Legends videos on this channel. Everything from the KDA music videos uh, to Arcane, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. One of my favorite shows ever. I've never played League of Legends, but Arcane is an absolute masterpiece. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy my reviews. So if you want to see my thoughts, those are all on the channel. Very excited with the kind of knowledge I've gained from Arcane to now t go into uh, go into this. If you've been enjoying my League of Legends videos, my Final Fantasy reactions, please make sure to subscribe. We are going on 20k subs here on my second YouTube channel. Let's get serious. Let me know in the chat uh, who your favorite League of Legends character is and did you like Arcane? Oh, wow. Molten Lava reminds me of the Lord of the Rings uh, teaser I just put out. Really nice mood already. I like how the sound is kind of muted on that hammer strike. Very cool. So we've kind of got like fire and ice right off the bat. A very, very cool mood. Ooh, really nice vocals here. Yeah, really good just visual storytelling. Plea to the Fallen. She picks up the, you know, the Fallen clothes for comrades, perhaps. Beautiful, beautiful set pieces already. We've got three different set pieces. Fire Forge, Desert, and Ice. Oh, this is like a Greek warrior climbing a mountain here. This is very Greek. Rise onto the call. I'm just going to pause for a second. Like, what do I always say with these? We have to look at these as like kind of mini short stories. A fantastic job of establishing, right? Rise to the call. The video is called The Call. We've got this guy climbing a mountain. We've got somebody, you know, facing this desert uh, palace. Uh, maybe they had fallen comrades and everything. And they've asked some questions for us that we want answers to. Let's see if they deliver on those answers and kind of rate this as a short story, as a short film. Whoa. This is a cool kind of like sea shanty type feeling. I love this. The Greek hero. Everybody's, you know, facing facing their, their personal challenges. Oh my God. She's dealing with a... Looks like she's water bending from Avatar. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, fantastic. Kinetic shot here. Absolutely fantastic. That shot. I'm going to have to go back and analyze that. That was amazing. Oh man. Just... just a incredible animation. Look at these shots. Following the axe into a polar bear. What is happening? Oh, that was cool, man. The cloud. Ah, oh, here we go. They're using that, that old 300 uh, type feel for that. He's got the Greek shield. We love that. It's cool. He's dressed like a phalanx. Oh, man. This is, this is good. This is real good. It feels like the finale to like a, a, a very epic scene in a film. Like all the characters going through their struggle, answering the call, rising up. Is a polar, is, are these guys character? Is that guy a character in the game, the polar bear? No way. Is he a champion? What? Wait, it's all connected. Oh, that was incredible. That sound design right there. That's good sound design. And that's good editing, my friends. Oh, wow. So this is clearly not the studio that did Arcane, but rather the studio that did the other cinematics. Ah, oh, and here we go. This kind of muted moment where everybody's wondering, can we continue to rise up? Getting struck down by lightning, their comrades. Oh my God, the expressions. The expressions, guy. 
So well done. The, the acting, so to speak. And the lyrics are working. That's right. She's like a space bug, right? You guys told me. Oh my God. This like Dune-esque sandworm. Very Dune inspired here. I love what I see. Here we go, guys. Here's the moment. They're rising up the champions. Answering the call. Oh my God. That just gave me chills. That just gave me actual chills. The war cry. Oh, the song too. This is amazing. We've got Vikings. We've got Greek warriors. Like what is even rise to the call? I called it. No pun intended. Take out that sandworm girl. You got this. This guy's like forging. Wow. Wow. That was powerful, man. That was intense. <laughs> Holy mom, let's, let's go through this in detail. Like, do they answer the questions that were set up? We have these characters, they look kind of like crestfallen. You don't need to explain everything. You need exposition in that way. It's just, you can show instead of telling, which is such a powerful form of storytelling. If we look at all these first shots and then we go to the last shots of these guys, look at this, this like full circle cycle, like this heroic cycle that they all go through. And it's just very well illustrated. The acting, so to speak, is very good. And I assume they use mocap for this, um, but maybe not, because apparently they didn't use mocap for Arcane. So at this point, who knows? Nice establishing shots here for all of them, kind of just showing the environments, showing their struggle. This is a powerful, powerful shot. And just like this entire sequence is so good from a fight choreography standpoint, but also something like a, a fight camera standpoint and camera work. Because look at this, we have this situation where this beast is coming towards them. If we kind of go through it frame by frame here and look at this very Tai Chi type movement, just bringing this, bringing this rock up out this kind of like earth bending, uh, avatar feel. And just look at how clear it is. What's happening. Visual storytelling. Like not only do we follow her arms from the previous shot, this is what, how well composed this is. This is great storyboarding. We follow her arms in that same motion. You see that rock smash into this thing. And then as the camera pans, this character, I forget her name. She's, she's in, uh, she's in KDA. What the heck is her name? Right? It's the same girl. She follows, like, look at this beautiful, smooth motion that the camera is already flowing. And you have this pink after image, uh, you have this pink after image following her. So it's just so, it's just so easy to follow, even though it's crazy, it's kinetic, it's powerful, it's in your face. Um, you feel these hits happening. It's just so well storyboarded that as I always say in a very like sort of non hunger games, which is like the worst example ever of like horrible fight choreography and camera choreography. You don't even know what's happening. It's just shaky cam, super close ups because you know that like maybe the actors weren't skilled enough to sell those hits. So they had to do that. Or it was just the visual style they chose. This is the exact opposite. And I want to, I want to showcase this next shot because it's pure insanity as far as like a nice one-er. And she jumps over there. And you know, we have a seamless three points of switching subjects in this shot from like background to foreground. So look at this. The subject is her as she jumps over this thing and blasts. And then she actually kind of like teleports. And this is like a nice framing. She's on the right side here and she's still framed quite nicely. But then here, look, it's already happened. The subject, you notice how your eye naturally goes to this character. I don't know her name, right? So now she's the subject of the shot as, as she like teleports to the other side of the screen. And just in a seamless motion, your eye perfectly goes to that character. They do their cool kind of like Tai Chi move and the camera follows her. See, she's the subject now. And then boom, switches back as she like kind of comes into this glorious hero shot. And it's just so well composed. Look at this. These two characters, it's, it's this beautiful image. She like against this white kind of desert background is just popping with these like kind of otherworldly like purples and these like non-organic looking colors, uh, very unnatural colors against this like completely desert landscape uh, and very like muted hazy sky. So she pops so much in this image, it's just beautiful hero shot. As I always say that hero shot from the low angle with a little bit of a wider uh, lens uh, wider focal length in this case. And look, look at this, it's beautiful. We also have, uh, this character kind of like crouching down. 
So it just emphasized this beautiful, beautiful composition, this beautiful diagonal composition, if you follow my mouse. And again, just, just, just seamless storyboarding. Like then we cut into the close up here. Yeah, great composition. The eye line remains the same. Yeah, this, this is another standout shot. So if we go to the beginning of this Senate interaction. We have this avalanche kind of coming down and breaking down. We have this guy throws it and it's just, you know, you get this great kind of freeze slow motion. And it's just, you think it's going to hit somebody. We're conditioned to be like, oh, it's going to smack somebody. And it just gets deflected by this polar bear, right? Like so well done. And that's just, that's just a powerful shot, man. With the, these deep billowing, uh, bellowing voices. Male voices and this freaking monstrous polar bear. Like what? <laughs> he just like smacked an axe out of the air. And how cool is this? He like, come on, the shadow of him and everything. It's just, what a beautiful image. Like you could take this as a painting. It's just awesome. Like what a cool concept. Now we're right into this like very, you know, 300 like Greek beat down here. That was a cool shot. Uh, this is obviously a champion. I have no idea who this is. I don't know if I've ever seen this champion in anything. So either she's new or she looks different or I'm just forgetting like, who is this person? But what a, what a great shot. Again, you can like, you can frame these, man. It's just a beautiful composition, uh, beautiful golden color. And the cool thing is each one of these environments is so starkly different. Coloration is beautiful to behold. What a, what a character though. Look at this guy. He's got a huge scar across his chest. He's got tattoos and everything again, obviously very Greek. I don't know like what his lore is. It's hard too, because they change the character's designs in a lot of these videos. Like it's, it's hard to know if it's the same character. That's kind of cool to keep emphasizing each person's like kind of stance as they're getting pushed back. And it's kind of this like struggle for, um, for footing on this very small space. Um, so that's well done. Yeah. Whereas this is like a big kind of like magical battle over here. We got like lightning strikes. Yeah. But again, I want to emphasize just like, a lot of the close-ups in this are kind of the highlights of it for me because you can have all these awesome effects. You can have all these crazy like creatures and battles, but like if the quote unquote acting is bad, it, it doesn't work. Right. And look at this. You can see the fear in her eyes for that one second right there where they added that nice light source to her eyes. You can see her, it's the lightning in her eyes rather. You can see it's like, oh no, we're in trouble. That's real fear. And similarly right here, you can see the struggle here. Like that's a, that's a great expression. That's a great struggling expression. It really works. It's not like too over the top. It's not cartoony and you'll see, watch this expression change. Huh? It's very well done. I think that's what sells it. And he just gets plowed by this massive energy blast. Like my God. But again, this, this, the sound design and the, to, to have the absence of big sound right here is so smart. Um, as he quenches the blade, um, it's beautiful. And like, what, what a feeling, he, the feeling of being underwater, you know, which is used a lot in like, kind of like knockout scenarios in film, because it's, it's really how it feels when you get punched around, like meteors falling. She's literally buried in the snow. Like, come on, very organic things like knocking lightning, you know, these naturalistic, powerful things of the earth. just like knocking these people down. And it's cool because like, we don't know what it's like to fight like a crazy, you know, war with like magical weapons and arms and armaments and all these like awesome powers that these people have. But we do know what sand feels like. We do know what snow feels like. Um, we've seen lightning You know, it's, it's a tangible thing that we fear. So it's just a very smart way to incorporate things that we recognize that we can really see that we can feel, um, from our experience with stuff that's fantasy, that's fantastic that they've created. It's a great way to kind of relate the audience to it. Again, all with visual storytelling, very impressive. This, I think is my favorite shot from the trailer. Um, it really, it really had an impact. There's a, there's a lot of emotion in this look. There's so much emotion in this look. It really is a standout for me. Like, look at the way she looks at her and they, they have a great emphasis on the eyes here. And as a standard for film, they've put a nice light source on her eyes, that little white dot. You always want to make sure you have, um, for lack of a better word, that white dot 
in your character's eyes and your subject eyes when you're lighting them, especially for like emotive scenes like this. It just has this connection. Um, it adds the life to the character. That's that it, you lose a lot of like the natural connection with a human that you get in real life when you capture something with a camera, right? This is a great way for a lot of reasons to uh, draw attention to the eyes for the acting. Yeah, this was awesome too. I mean, the, just, just a beautiful shot, like crestfallen, you know, his weapons in the ground, looking up at like some apocalyptic scenario, it's like meteor fall. Again, like you don't need to know anything about the story right here. It's like, oh, what is that? Who cares? It's the world is in danger. <laughs> you know, that's all that matters. Another cool shot there in motion. Rise into the cool. Yeah, I love that. It's kind of like this reluctant, like, you know, you answer the call when you're a champion, right? When you're a hero, you answer the call. And that's what I'm getting here. Um, it's kind of that feeling where, you know, you get knocked down, you got to keep going, you got to get back up and fight. That's just a cool shot, man. Again, look at this. Like, look at this. This could be a painting. And you're like, that's awesome. There's a whole story you could put together here. Holy crap. Is that girl flying? Uh, was she thrown by the beast? Was she riding the beast and fell off? Like this could just be a frame painting and, and have a lot of conversation around it. And that's what is, is a good example of visual storytelling, right? So I think that's why this is cool. I think that's why it is like a thought provoking video you can watch many times because each frame or each shot, I should say, has a lot going on. And that's just like, what a visceral feeling. Imagine just falling with gravity and like blasting this like a massive like unimaginably huge <laughs> creature and again just a beautiful shot that you get this like it's just such a cool contrast with her we said it earlier but you know you get this like dune-esque landscape like abandoned ruins in a desert with this like crazy futuristic bug armor or whatever it is falling into a pit of oblivion like just great storyboarding again everything flows naturally we we talked about it earlier in a little more detail beaten down oh. yeah that that gave me real that gave me real chills like when i first saw this like this is, oh god with the again the timing and the sound design like look at this look at this lighting the lightning and again the the acting is good that is a believable look at that it's so cool the lighting the lightning works like powerful powerful emotion it's visceral you get chills from from seeing something like this natural elements like lightning that we can understand and feel you know uh, mixed with uh, intense emotion right ah it's beautiful even this guy right he's 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 answering the call now he's standing up putting his helmet back on the tai chi girl is pulling a freaking mountain down like so cool. This guy like flies into the heavens with his spear. It's just like, it's just universal stuff. You know, it's universal imagery that, that means something to us, even though we don't even know what's going on at all. Look at that triumphant. And there you go, like the fall, literally. As he drops the sword, the finished product, I can only assume that he's forged. Like, that's it, man. That's it. Powerful, powerful stuff. The powerful shots are, are that, the other expression. And then for me, also this, this just war cry. So good. And then I want to see one more shot here. I think it's right here. When she just busts through the ice. I think it's right here after she uh, freezes him. Like, come on, man freezes them and then just blasts them to a million pieces like that is a powerful shot right there huh powerful shot visceral stuff man we you we've all broken ice right we've all broken ice with our bare hands or kicked it or thrown it whatever and it's just you can feel that all these natural things uh, and i think that was that was one of the best choices about this but yeah that's my basic thoughts on it guys uh i could talk about it all day you know how i do but let me know what you thought. Let me know if you agree with me. Uh, let me know who these champions are. And just overall, I, I have nothing but high marks. I am not surprised at this point. Riot puts out incredible, incredible content. And this is just, you know, another addition to that, that sort of pantheon um, in its own right. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to sub on YouTube if you can. 
uh, follow on Twitch, stop by. You want to join the conversation live? We're chilling over here. And uh, that's going to be it for this video.